In this example, we're going to practice uh, expressing a statement uh, in inverse function notation. All right, so here we're told that the distance d uh, measured in centimeters uh, that a spring stretches uh, is a function of the weight x uh, measured in pounds that's attached to the spring. Uh, by the way, uh, this um, uh, function is referred to as Hooke's Law, and that's a famous um, fact from uh, physics. So um, if we suppose that this uh, function is one-to-one, -one, uh, we want to use inverse function uh, notation uh, to express uh, this fact. Uh, if we further assume that uh, this function uh, is named s, this one-to-one -one function is named s. So uh, in just regular function notation, the fact that this distance d uh, that the spring stretches is a function of the weight uh, x uh, would be expressed as a d um, equals s uh, of x, given that uh, the name of the function is s. All right, so we want to express the same information using inverse function uh, notation. So uh, the first thing to note is that um, uh, the convention, uh, the uh, procedure that we use to uh, name inverse functions is to take uh, the uh, name of the original function, uh, which in this case is s, and then uh, append a superscript of minus 1 um, uh, to that uh, function name. So uh, the name of our uh, inverse function would be written this way, which is read off the page as uh, s inverse, uh, not s to the minus 1 power, but we read this as uh, s inverse. And the inverse function uh, is going to interchange or switch or reverse uh, the input and uh, output quantities for the original function s. So since um, uh, the weight x is the input uh, in the original function and the matching output is the distance d that the spring stretches, uh, this means that in the inverse function, uh, the input will be uh, the distance d that the spring stretches and the matching output uh, will be uh, the weight x attached uh, to the spring. So we can express uh, the fact uh, that uh, the distance d is a function of uh, the weight x attached to the spring in inverse function notation as um, uh, the weight x attached to the spring um, is a function of the distance d um, that the spring uh, stretches. So uh, here is the uh, inverse function notation uh, method of expressing um, the statement given here. Uh, you read this off the page as x equals s inverse of uh, d.